Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna be going over some ways you guys can be making coins in this market and some investments going forward So if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and yeah, let's get into it Wanted to start it off with the transfer list show you guys what I've been doing um, I've been flipping some icons. I bought the Closa at like 400 Makalele, I actually got it 450 um, which was insane and then I got him at like 620 or 650 uh, So I flipped those all today Icon prices are going crazy right now. Um, I I'm got lucky that these sold right close. I went to like 430 um, But I managed to sell mine at 449 Ben Yetter I got at 350 and then these two Nabries I bought at 35 And um, then Lewandowski scored four goals today and then his price went up because he's gonna link to his end form so I can clear those I have a Oop Meccano at 120. Um, that's I would get on that bid, but I only have 2k because I literally spent all my coins today. I have a Sun at 285, and that's kind of more like a Team of the Week investment because he is probably going to get a Team of the Week Wednesday, and this card is going to fly uh, on Wednesday. Uh, still have my Winaldums. They still haven't updated his price which is super annoying. Um, I know in my videos I've been saying buy extinct players, but they're not updating any of the prices. So you're kind of just sitting there with coins on your transfer list, not being able to trade. Um, so you could buy players like Sun. Uh, another one is Holland. I got four of them at like 98 to 99K. Um, how much did I pay for him? I, yeah, 99 to 98. Um, he was like 120 today during squad battle rewards. I picked him up at 99, which is insane because he's going to get a team of the week. Hopefully, I uh, got a Van de Beek, got two of them actually at like 24K. He's currently 28 uh, to 30K. I think he could go extinct because he's probably going to get a ones to watch. Um, and his card's so good. I know Pyface and Tex were using him and they said he was really good. Then he went extinct for a bit just because they said he was good um, and his price range is only 30k so I think he could be like 40 uh, maybe 50 I bought a Joe Gomez at 84k um, I mean this card's probably gonna hit 100 on Tuesday so I might keep him until Tuesday might sell him tomorrow on um, lazy buyer Dembele I got at 69 um, he actually went down a lot today uh, if we go look on the market during squad battle awards I picked up a bunch of players, uh, including Dembele. If we go look, is he like, what is he? So he's like 75. Um, he was over 80 today on the Xbox market, and then he kind of tanked. Um, he's going to go back up, probably hit 85 or 90 tomorrow or the day after that. Um, and you guys got to remember, the market's going to go up because squad battle rewards got out and people got more coins, so they're going to want to buy their teams. Mindy, I got at 78 and he's already like 85k, uh, which is great. He's gonna hit 100. Um, it's just a matter of time today, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and still got all my extinct players. Uh, I did get a Chan for like 14k, hoping to sell at 20. Uh, and then the last one I got Davinson Sanchez because. I got Davinson Sanchez at like 38k, but I wanted to bring you guys over to Footbin. And then you guys need to know that meta players that have in demand positions are gonna go up, right? So if we go Prem, center back, and we look, Van Dyke, he's gonna be over 700k first week in league. Then there's not really any usable center backs until you get to Gomez. And he's going to be 100k. And then the only other center back that is usable is either Ake. And he's extinct right now. Um, and even then, that's not that good of a card. But then you have Rudiger. He's extinct too. 9.6k. He was extinct earlier. Davinson Sanchez. So basically, Sanchez and Gomez are the only two center backs that are really usable. I mean, Rudiger has 70 pace. Uh, Davinson Sanchez has 74, but I mean, he's meta. And you guys wanna be looking at this because that's literally two center backs 
in the entire prem that are usable besides Van Dyke, and no one's going to go buy Van Dyke for 700k for their starter team um, unless they have a bunch of money. So you guys should be looking at Footpin as well. You should be looking at the popular tab. Look what's popular. Uh, Mindy's 85k. You can go look at his graph, see what times he's low. Um, on PS, he's extinct at 100. So that should just give you a reason to buy him on the Xbox. If you go look at hourly graphs, he was like 84k the entire day. He got up to 90. Um, doesn't show it on Footpin, but he was 90 at one point. And then he was just 80 yesterday. Today, he went up. Tomorrow, he's going to go up even more. I think he could go extinct tomorrow um, or Tuesday. Dembele, I got 69. Um, he's 85 on PS. Normally, Xbox follows PS. They're a little bit behind because there's not that many players. Uh, but today, he was like 75, and I picked him up for 69. So if you guys can get on these cards, that's going to be insane. Sun is another one. Um, he's 350 on PS, right? 290 on Xbox. That's too cheap. I got mine at 285. Um, and he's just going to continue to go up, right? Because the footpin and foothead solutions that come out on Monday or Tuesday, and they have Sun in the team of the week, people are then going to go buy his gold card and it's going to inflate the price. Holland as well. I got him at 99. He's 110 on PS. He was like 120, 115. Um, it doesn't show it, but he was that on the market. Um, you guys can't always trust Footpin as well at the start because their prices are different than what they actually are in Footpin. You never want to list a card for what this says. You always want to go check on the market um, just to make sure that you guys are getting the most out of your card. And Emily Tao is extinct. Joe Gomez is 88k, um, 98 on PS. I think he's going to hit 100 uh, tomorrow or Tuesday. Tuesday when the full game comes out um, for the pre-orders, the market's going to go up even more than it is right now. Um, it's just going to be like squad battles all over again, but more because more people are spending FIFA points and more people have access to the game, not just the 10 hours. So cards are going to go flying Tuesday and Friday. So today you should have bought your team. Um, Havertz is 85k, which I think he's extinct to 85k if you go look on the market. That could be a 100 plus card. Sané as well. He's 130. Honestly, I could see him going up because of Lewandowski getting a team of the week. But there's so many left mid, left wing options. Um, I don't think he could go up that much. And he's 85 rated. Uh, kind of like Rashford. If you go look, he's like 170. Um, which I do think he's probably going to stay around 170. I don't see him going to 200. I mean, he could go extinct. But I honestly don't really see that. Um, but yeah. Going back to the transfer list. That is basically all I have. I got a son. Um, I still have all my extinct players waiting for the price ranges to update have my sanchez's Klosterman's, um and yeah i'm basically just waiting i got these Ospinas at like under 1k uh just bidding on them for uh, squad battle rewards but i'm honestly just waiting for them to update the prices so that i can sell these players and go make more coins and yeah if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe hopefully this video helped you out and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching